All right, here's where we feature mostly comedians since entertaining is a mission of our show. Today we're talking about a moment that felt inevitable for many. The value of some major cryptocurrencies have crashed in the past few weeks. Realizing the worst fears of finance and tech bros everywhere, basically billions of dollars evaporated over the past few weeks for people who had put their money into this volatile market. So the people who didn't trust normal financial institutions with their money just lost a ton of it. I wanted to talk about this and see if we could really understand it. So I brought in comedian Patrick Fury to discuss his part of that conversation. Patrick, what do you make of all this? I love it. I like, uh, I like blood in the streets. If you, uh, if you want to put a lot of money in a volatile market, then you got to put your big boy and big girl pants on and get ready to ride the roller coaster. Well, it's rare that you get rewarded for incompetence or ignorance. And in this case, we're all being rewarded for both. Because I couldn't figure yes. out how to actually invest in crypto, or I probably would have. And now I'm being rewarded by not having my money be lost. It's very true. You, there's no, there's no, it's not a bad option to wait until you understand what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. And FOMO is fun, too. So I don't want to deny somebody, you know, YOLO. There you go. Uh, unless it's uh, unless it's comedy, uh, comedy definitely do not wait until you know what you're doing, no. um, because we all like to enjoy the process. It's very entertaining. I'm really impressed with the the ex essential oil girl bosses who are selling twelve hundred dollar crypto courses now. I think they're the ones really cleaning up in the tangential side of uh, actual buying and selling cryptocurrency. How much do you personally understand about cryptocurrency? I understand enough to get myself in trouble, probably. Mm -hmm. I got into it a little, a couple of years ago, so I'm not underwater, but I was a bit, really all I understand is uh, buy Bitcoin, don't, don't trade, don't sell, hold it for 10 years and ignore all the other 20,000 altcoins. How do you feel about NFT art? Are you a monkey fan? I'm not a monkey fan. It kind of looks like Donkey Kong just got out of chemo. I yeah. don't know. It doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. If it looked good, I might be into it. But I think of it as like baseball cards. It's just a new form of collectible. It's it was I think even uh, the the hotness of NFTs have kind of cooled down. They might make a comeback in a couple of years. It looks to me like something's it's something looking for an actual use case. Well, if it's cooled down, that means that it is prime for material. Have you ever heard yeah. a good NFT or crypto joke on stage? Or do you have one? How it was explained to me when my brother, because my brother bought an NFT, uh, was that it's kind of like buying the deed to a house, except everyone in the world can just sleep in your bed, eat your porridge, Goldilocks right into your house. But you're the only one who can buy and sell the house. So it's like owning a trap house then? Yeah, exactly. Okay, all right. Well, that, that I understand. Uh, it is yeah. an internet <laughs> trap house. Oh man, how about that? The crypto and the NFTs crash just as soon as I was teaching my daughter how to make NFT art. I'm still going to do that, by the way. It'll just be much more affordable. So we will like, be like the everyman version of NFT art. By the way, I have it on good authority that some of the younger people do understand Dance Revolution. I heard about that during the break. However, y'all say I was going too fast. Y'all never reached my level. Y'all don't know about this. Y'all don't know nothing about this. If you want to hear more from Patrick, by the way, he has a podcast called Unapproachable. You can listen to wherever you get your podcast. Don't challenge me. Don't challenge me. Coming up on this day in 1954, a Supreme Court ruling changed education as we know it, and it marked a major step forward in the fight for equality. And I dropped the mic on the, oh, the, tra the track fire that is DC Metro as WMATA's general manager makes an early exit. And we want to hear what you think about the show. Send any questions, comments, or concerns to me. I'm at Reese Waters on most social media. Mr. Reese Waters on TikTok. Or email rwaters at wsa9.com.